Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another super fast ninja app review, this time of the home launcher app ADWEX. Um, now this is an excellent uh, home uh, launcher replacement app. Um, there is a free version, but the paid version has the EX on it. And I don't know what EX stands for, but I think it stands for extra features because it does have a lot of extra features that the free version doesn't have. And I think it's well worth the price. So let's hop on the app. I'm gonna show you as much as I can in just a few short minutes. I don't have time in the super fast review to really show you all the settings, but I'm just gonna show you a few things. This is my home setup. You see those five little dots at the top? That's because I have five home screens, but you can have as many or as few as you want. Um, if you, as you can see, I can scroll infinitely, so I don't get to the end and then have to go back the other way if I don't want to. You can just keep going in either direction. That's the setting. You can look at my home screen, and you'll see this is one of the apps I already reviewed. It's a calendar widget, and this is not the actual size of it. But one good thing about AEW, I can resize my widgets. If you long press on a widget, and you click edit, you'll see those errors appear, and you can you can make it the size you want to. Now, of course, depending on how the widget is set up, it may or may not adapt well, but you can try it and uh, make something you like. With the calendar, it worked perfect to make it a little bit taller than what it naturally would have been. I also shrunk down the Astrid uh, list a little bit. So those are things you can do. Uh, you also have this really cool dock bar at the bottom, and you see I can scroll the dock bar, so I have my important things on there. And no matter what screen I'm on, the dock bar is always there, so I always have access to these things. You can put apps and folders on there. I have a folder, and the folder was created with ADW. I have a folder here, too, as you can see. And folders are easy to create because you just long press app, and then you either hold it over another app to create a new folder, or hold it over an existing folder to add it to that folder. And you can also change that folder to be an icon, or you can have the folder show, be a folder, but kind of show glimpses of what's inside of it. So lots of different things you can do there. You can also have a, a couple of gestures. If I gesture up on a screen, it opens my app drawer. The app drawer is also controlled by ADW, and I've chosen to have this many uh, rows and this many columns, and I've made the labels the color I want them to be, and my background the color I want it to be. Also, as you can see, I've uh, set up my home screen to have five rows instead of four, because who needs all that dead space? And I don't like labels underneath my icons on my home screen because the icon really says it all. So I remove the labels. That's also done in ADW. And then I set up with five rows. There's a lot of other things you can do. You can change the icon. If you long press an app, you can remove it. If you click edit, then you can change. If you had labels, you could change the name of it. I could hit this and then select a different icon if I wanted. Um, if you long press and then you press manage, that takes you into your Android settings to manage that app where you can uninstall it or clear the cache, clear the data, uh, or move it to your SD card. So a lot of cool things you can do. I also have a gesture set up so that when I gesture down, it opens up uh, another app. And this is my voice control app uh, that I opened up. Um, I know a lot of people have it set so that when they gesture down, it opens up the uh, notification. So instead of having to touch up here and scroll down, you just gesture down and it opens up, which is kind of a cool thing as well. So it's uh, very customizable. Uh, if you hit menu and hit more, you can go into settings, there's so many settings in here. Uh, you do have presets. You can use preset settings and test those out if you don't feel like thinking about it much. Uh, UI settings, you can change the way the icons work, the way the main dock works, screen preferences, so the way it scrolls, drawer, your app drawer settings, your folder settings, uh, general behavior. Here's where you can create gestures, system preferences, animations and effects. There's a ton of animations and effects. Uh, uh, go into themes and preferences. This is where you can choose an entire theme. If you look on the market, you can download themes for ADW and you can choose icons from those themes uh, to use. Uh, I do everything manually. I mostly use default icons except in the, uh, uh, the dock at the bottom as you saw. Also has a backup in a store, which is great, especially if you're using a custom ROM or you're like me and you like to mess around with your phone and tweak it. There's always that danger that you're gonna have to reset it um, to an earlier time. Uh, then you can always restore your ADW settings and possibly restore your desktop configuration, which can save you a lot of time. So again, I don't have time to go into each one of these and show you everything on this review, uh, but that's just a general uh, sense of uh, what ADW is, ADW EX, that is, and uh, just how great of a uh, home launcher it is. So that was ADW EX, the paid version of ADW Home Launcher. Um, it's a great app, uh, of course, because this is a super fast ninja review. I didn't have time to show you all the various settings, but it's, it's crazy how many things you can change and uh, this home launcher. You can tweak so many things to really make uh, your phone your own, personalize it, and have it work the way you want to. So if you want to see all the settings and see the full review, then just click the link below and you can watch my uh, longer in-depth review of the app. Anyway, until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.